on the Pigeon River Farm, doing farming right. I'm Robert Brown, the owner of Pigeon River Farm. Thank you for viewing. We're going to discuss how our poultry operation actually functions. How do we get the eggs from the nest all the way to your frying pan? And how it works is we have uh, a collection based on the time of the year. Uh, during the winter months, we actually have a layer barn that's attached to our two high tunnels and there's a significant number of nesting boxes in there. Uh, the ratio actually is one nesting box per five chickens and we're actually a little bit tighter than that so we typically have about four chickens per nesting box. And then additionally what we have is uh, during the summer months the chickens are out on pasture and then we have the chicken mobile and we go out there and we collect the eggs. Uh, their nesting boxes are attached on what we call bump outs on the side of the the chopper wagon and we're able to take the uh, uh, eggs off of both sides little doors that we remove and then in turn what we do is we end up uh, hauling them back and they, either way so if it's winter time or summer time uh, the golf cart is the main use I get a lot of use out of our golf cart both uh, in the snow and the, and the sun uh, during the winter time, make sure I get everything cleaned out of here, uh, the snow cleaned, so I can use it. But it's the easiest way to transport the eggs without any damage. Uh, we use a wire pail uh, designed for eggs. Uh, actually, I have a significant number of them. Uh, they're from the old days, uh, but they work incredibly well. Uh, it's a, a funny you look at it, you think it would be easy to break the eggs, but they don't. Uh, then once we have the eggs uh, into our, to our, we have a big walk-in uh, style refrigerator. And that refrigerator uh, keeps the eggs in queue for typically one to three days. And then they're brought into our egg washing room. Uh, we have a room that's dedicated specifically for egg washing. It's inspected by the state. We have a state commercial egg license and we have a once a year state inspector to come through and make sure that we're up to all the standards. Uh, the rule in Wisconsin is any farm that has over 150 layers is required to have a commercial egg license. So again the inspector comes out they check for cleanliness and in this current uh, situation everybody really appreciates that we try to keep the utmost in cleanliness. Uh, additionally, uh, they check the, uh, our refrigeration, that it's all within uh, these standards. Uh, that's the state protocol. Uh, then once the eggs are uh, in the cooler, then we have a, a wash session. So uh, my wife, Kim, and I both uh, used our, we have an egg washer. It's a new machine to us, a pretty neat machine. Um, <clears throat> I understand it was built off a 1950s design. A uh, farm out in Ohio has actually uh, redesigned it and it works incredibly well. We're able to typically wash, um, and in full production we can do 800 eggs per hour with the two of us. So the eggs are pre-soaked in, uh, in warm water for just a brief period of time and then they're fed into the input trough and then uh, there's little scrubbers inside that work like a little car wash. Eggs are rotated and the scrubber runs and we have warm water in there and they come out the exit tray and then I usually have the job of, uh, of collecting them, inspecting them and that's the preliminary inspection for quality and then they're put in, uh, in trays, uh, 30 eggs to a tray and then they're put on a roll around cart uh, so we go through and we wash all the buckets typically two to three uh, buckets, uh, well it can be more than that, but uh, two to three days worth I should say, of eggs and then uh, they're in turn uh, allowed to dry. We use a series of fans and a roll around uh, a cart, kind of a restaurant style cart that allows us to get the uh, eggs dried pretty fast with a series of fans. And then they go through our egg candler and as you see here we're going through uh, uh, examining eggs. Uh, that is a very precise system. It's interesting that uh, machine was built somewhere in the early 70s. Works as good today as it did then. I've updated with new bearings and modern lubrication and so on. And most importantly the old incandescent bulbs were replaced with a real high powered LED light. Uh, significantly brighter than original. And original if that bright would have cooked the eggs. Anyways, uh, the LED works extremely well. We're able to see 
the condition of the eggs, both for cracks and any kind of blood spots or such that would be inside, the brown shelled eggs are difficult to see through. Uh, it takes a, a lot more lumens of light to get through there. Uh, they go down this tray and then they go on to the egg sorter and it sorts them out by size. They're standardized grade sizes that are out there and each one of the uh, uh, alleys um, has a specific weight. So from extra large, large, medium, and small. And then uh, they all come down there. Uh, machines all calibrated. I calibrate it every couple weeks. Uh, make sure it stays the standards. And then once the eggs are all put into 30 uh, into the trays again, uh, then they are refrigerated. And then uh, comes the packing time. And that's pretty much my wife Kim uh, takes care of that. So they're put into, they're taken out. We have a work area that uh, we actually uh, get all the uh, sorting done. Uh, they're inspected again one last time. And then we're really blessed. Uh, we're with Animal Welfare Approved through a Greener World. Uh, they also can provide us cartons. So we have this premium carton that we provide. So every carton is new. And uh, so that, from even a hygiene standpoint, is critical. And I think it's one of the nicest looking cartons out there. It represents the quality that we put in our golden rich eggs. Then from there, the eggs are uh, uh, stored uh, till they're ready for distribution. Uh, we work with a distributor, uh, Trust Local Foods, out of Appleton, Wisconsin. And in turn, they distribute the eggs out to a series of health food stores throughout Wisconsin. So it's a smooth distribution. Um, they believe in the highest quality. Our standards are, are parallel. I really enjoy working with them. Uh, it's a great, great bunch of people. Uh, especially under the current conditions, we have to use additional biosecurity, uh, even with the handoff of the eggs to them, and then they go to the respective stores. And as you know, eggs are very popular today, but we have not changed our standards. We keep our standards as high as possible. Uh, because, you know, the key with, a, with an egg is to get it as healthy. We want to help people's immune system. We're trying to do our fair share in, in trying to extinguish this problem. And if at least if your immune system is, is stronger and we do everything with our eggs with the minerals and so on, as I've covered in other videos. So that is the process. Uh, the eggs, are, I did miss something, they are put into a large uh, uh, carton, master cartons, and that's 15 uh, a dozen per carton and of course uh, they're put into my typically our Prius so we do the environmental right thing I haul them uh, Prius is usually pretty full um, and we haul them to the uh, depot where the we meet the truck and that's the whole process so enjoy if you're, if you're fortunate enough to be one of our customers I truly truly appreciate it uh, the loyalty for all these years has been uh, wonderful and if not, uh, look around uh, for Pigeon River Farm uh, Golden Rich Eggs. I thank you and have a great evening. Good night.